hello all welcome to tech capture so in our previous video we just started with the mcp and we discussed what is mcp server that is a model context protocol and what are the basics or fundamentals of mcp then we started creating our first mcp servers with the vs code we also created our mcp server with the cloud desktop now we are moving ahead with our core functionality where we will integrate the adk which is a google agent development kit with the google maps mcp servers okay so let Let's check the code what we are going to do here so we are going to create a Google Maps MCP servers and we are going it along with our ADK agent okay so let's take an example this is my code so we already created a lot of agent using ADK so we are continuing to that playlist where we created the workflow agent we created parallel agent sequential agent and then we created a uh, BigQuery agents a lot of agents we already created and now we are integrating it our agents with the MCP servers okay so when Whenever we are defining the agent let me just take the marker okay so whenever we are defining the agent so this is the normal step we do we define the model we define the name of the agent then instructions and tool we are using the pre-built tools or we are using the function tool as of now but we are just going with one step ahead and now we are going mcp tool set class okay so let's discuss what is this mcp tool class okay so whenever we integrate the external mcp servers in adk agent we use a mcp tool set class okay and this mcp tool set class enables a seamless integration to the mcp servers along with the adk so what what this mcp tool set class does okay so just take an example so this agent uses mcp tool set class to integrate the mcp servers and whenever we run uh, mcp servers locally so when we execute this command okay you can see here it is nothing but the command it is just starting the mcp servers whenever we are using so wherever our agent is running it is starting the mcp server locally so it is nothing but the model context protocol the git a repository it is taking the google map server from that it is passing the google maps api key which will provide in our environment file and it is starting the local mcp servers and we are taking example of a google maps mcp servers here so what it does so this command runs as i mentioned right so this commands runs the mcp servers and it passes a google maps api key in the environment variables and we can have the tools filters as well let's say suppose i don't want my agent to have access to all the tools in maps so i can filter the tools also here and then i can use that in my agent okay so the agent itself does not implement google maps but it just delegate logics or maps functionality to the mcp servers so this is just overall how we can implement using the agent so we are going to see a lot of examples here from basic this is our very first adk and mcp tool integration in future in our further videos we are going a very complex integration we are creating the cloud mcp servers we are going to create with the uh, database mcp servers and we are going to integrate with our adk agent okay so i'll just go to vs code and start building our agent from the scratch so i am in my vs code now so let me just open the terminal okay and you can see i have one folder already which the previous agents we created in our playlist so you can see all the agents we created in our previous playlist so let me just see if i am having the adk installed so let me just do pip install adk google adk so if you do not have it installed just install it first so i already have it installed let me just clear the screen okay and now let's start creating the first sample agent okay so i'll just use the command adk create and i'll just give the name adk mcp okay so it will ask for a model which model i want so i will use the gemini 2.5 flash yes i want to use the vertex ai if you choose a google ai then you have to provide api key but i will be using my default application credentials so i will use a vertex ai okay so the project id yeah, i need the same project id and the region also same so i'll just enter so it created the adk mcp this is a simple agent with the all the file format okay so you can see this google gni i use vertex i have one it means it will use my default application credentials this is my project and this is my location so let's take a look at the agent 
okay so this is just the root agent helpful assistant for user questions and i'll just give the description user questions related to locations maps and directions okay because we are going to integrate with the google maps mcp server using google maps tools okay so i'm just giving the simple instruction or you can just put based of your knowledge that also work for it okay because it will have the tool attached so now how we can attach the tool so just test if it is working fine now we do not have i just write adk web so it will start the web ui let's test the basic functionality okay so i'll just ask the simple question if llm calls are working it will give me the response okay so it is saying hello how i can help you with the location maps and direction okay so currently we haven't set up our mcp server so what i will do i will just check how the response is coming because this is from the instruction related question location maps and direction and that's what it is giving in a response okay so now let's see i will ask show me nearby open cafes in Korega Park, Pune. Okay, so let's see what it responds because it does not have access to the tools. If it can give response from its knowledge, okay. So what it is suggesting to find a open cafe near Korega Park, Pune right now, the best way would be use a real time mapping or food discovery app. Here is you can do. It is asking or suggesting to open a Google Maps and check the nearby cafes. So it does not have direct access to the Google Maps as of now and it does not provide the real-time information because it is using the gemini which is llm model which already trained on the data and does not give the real-time insight so what if we provided access to the mcp servers which is a google maps mcp servers then it will help us with the real-time data correct let me just update the code to use a mcp servers using the mcp toolset class okay so i am here in my vs code so i'll just add the piece of code here so i am having the mcp toolset code so i'll just copy it i'll just add it at the end okay so i have added the tools and it is it is currently showing the warning because i haven't imported the mcp toolset class the connection parameters so i'll just copy the import statements here so i can use it okay so now i have the tools but still we are missing the google maps api key you can see here so i have a google maps api key already created so i'll just uh, go to the google cloud so how you can get the key so i already created but yeah you can go to google maps api and uh, create your keys in the google maps platform okay so you can easily create from the uh, google cloud so now i will go to the vs code and i'll just put the google maps api key in environment variable okay and i'll just import it here okay the os is missing okay fine so my code is ready i'll just restart my agent and then let's see okay so now it should give me answer to the same question in a different way i'll ask the same question okay i'll just open a duplicate tab so i can compare the response so let's say i will ask again hi okay and i will ask one extra question here which tools do you have access to now it is having mcp tool set so it should list down the tools from the mcp servers yeah so you can see 
it is having access to a geocoding a reverse geocoding search places place details all these are google maps mcp servers tools where we can see that so just go to uh, google maps mcp server you will see the github repository here okay so i'll just show you yeah so if you go here this is the official repository and if you open the google maps mcp servers here so you will see the same set of tools like maps geocode maps reverse geocode search places place detail distance metric and elevation so same response you have got here right it means now it is using the mcp servers but how it started the mcp servers so our log should display that information check the log carefully yeah you can see mcp session started google maps mcp servers running in a studio mode this is standard input output because it is local if it is a remote mcp servers it will use http protocol so whenever you are putting in mcp tool set it is automatically starting your mcp servers using this commands and passing the google maps api key so it means mcp server is connected let's see if it respond to our queries okay so i'll ask the same question now show me the nearby open cafes so let's see if there are a nearby open cafes so currently time is 12 38 in a night okay at least it called the tool so if i show you here it went to the google maps mcp servers it first get the Korega park locations and then it is searching the places nearby that location you can see the second is the search places and first is a geocode and it got the nearby cafes see all the cafes it is mentioning along with the rating let's go one step ahead and ask the direction show me direction for this cafe from pune station okay I'll just copy this. It should show me the detailed direction just like in a Google map. So you can now it is calling the maps direction. Alone isn't specific. Would you like to try against the full address? Yes. Okay. So I will just try with the address or I will mention yes it is just asking would you like to try using a full address so i mentioned here so it will try with the full address because it takes yeah now you can see summary it is given the distance the time 11 minutes and head east so just like a google maps direction it has given so now our agent working perfectly fine with the google maps mcp servers and you'll see the logs of the connections as well so you can see it is in the logs you can see mcp servers it is making the call and mcp server is still running because every time it will create a client okay so you will see the client also okay so you can check the log and in function call also you will see it is connecting to the mcp servers so hope this is clear now how we can use our mcp servers along with the adk in the mcp toolset class okay so in in next video we'll be using a mcp servers along with the adk but we'll be using a google cloud bigquery mcp servers so we'll be using the mcp toolset for the database and we'll be creating the mcp servers for bigquery but we'll be hosting that separately it will be hosting separately and then we will use it in our adk so stay tuned for further video and thank you for watching this video